Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're going through Cougar Country once again to find a secret cave. And this is on the very northwest corner of the map, and the cave has also got a secret character in there, which we can have quite a few conversations with, and we're going to see everything that he has got to say, and we're going to try and capture him as well. I don't know if it's 100% possible, but we'll see. I don't know. Well, it depends on how the conversation goes. But if you guys are curious where we're headed, if we go ahead and open up our map, if you go to this point at the northwest corner here, I guess it's more like the west corner, uh, just northwest of Strawberry and this little nipple coming out here, we're going to head there and we're going to be able to find a secret cave. Now, once we get to this particular area here, we're going to see this little pathway just going up this mountain. And usually yep. these things you can't really get into. This particular one you can. And at the very end of it, we're going to find the mouth of this cave. And we're going to go creep it in here. See what can be found. I don't know if there's going to be any treasure or anything in here. It helps if I go to my weapons and pull out my lantern. It is going to be dark and you know. Hopefully we can find some treasure, but we're definitely going to meet this unique character, which is the Cave Hermit. Now, if you guys want me to do more of these missions where we meet some of these weird, strange, and awesome characters that are available in Red Dead Redemption 2, feel free to let me know in the comments below and which one you would like me to meet next. Oh, this is pretty cool. There's actually a lot of light in here. I'm going to assume if we go down that way, we're going to die. So let's, let's just not do that and say we did maybe. Let's see here. We got a choice. Left or right. I wonder if I can actually see this on the map. Oh, we can. Interesting. Typically, I'll go left, but I am genuinely curious to see what's to the right, because it doesn't look like there's a lot left. Oh, look at this. Interesting wall carvings here. That is one freaky looking person right there. Am I going to get spooked? I swear to God, if I get spooked in here, I'm going to be so mad. Lots of interesting little cave drawings. What is all this? Those things look crazy. Are these all the aliens that come down? If you guys haven't seen the little alien Easter egg, definitely make sure... Is there a bear in here? I just heard something like roaring. It's a nice little nothing right here. That's cool. What's over here? Oh, there's a ladder. Interesting. Do we want to go down the ladder? Uh, before we go down the ladder, let's see what's to the left. I, I bet if we go to the left, we'll probably end up passing that ladder anyways. That might be a shortcut, but I don't want to skip anything either. We might not actually need the lantern in here. Oh, it's a freaking dead end to the left. Oh, I wonder what would happen if we... Oh... That's a big old drop. We do not want to go down there. Oh, interesting. So this is where the hermit lives, I believe. Go away, please. Yep. Why don't you turn around and go back to the light? Now to get the entire conversation, you have to stay Can around him for a long cave, time. Please? Find your own cave. You're a cave. There are nasty things and nasty people down here, and I don't mean you. <laughs> I'm the devil. I'm the devil. I'm the devil. I wonder if he actually is the devil. Oh, there he is. Can we get a better look at him. What you doing there, home skillet? Okay, I'm not the devil, but I want to be. I want to be. And that's even worse. I'm a nasty man. Go away. I don't want you here. Oh, freaking bat spooked me. Is that so bad? Wanting solitude? Wanting loneliness? Wanting anything but you? Go away. Kind of creepy that he's not really even looking at me. Oh. Hey, mister. Get out of my cave. <laughs> hey! Get back here! 
Well, that was rude. I'm gonna sit here for a second and see if he comes back. That was. Pr Goodbye. Oh. Oh, you, you come back here. So on the map, there's clearly a way to get up to him. Now, there's this little ledge here and a big old hole to my death. Now, I'm thinking maybe I can jump to that ledge and pull myself up. And this was the area to the left. Oh, shit, biscuits. Oh, crap. Oh, we're dead. You know, I just noticed you can actually inspect the site. I don't know how I missed that when I first ran into here. We're heading back. You have to wait th basically three days before you can get another conversation. Oh, it just says cave mouth. Before you can get another conversation, we're heading back in right meow. Right, so we just got to head down this ladder. I don't know if he's going to initiate the conversation the second we get down here. I really don't want company. Why not? I just want to be your friend. This cave isn't for the likes of you. You'll not be happy here. Come on. Listen, if I wanted to make friends, I wouldn't live in a cave. <laughs> That's a fair point. If I wanted a friend, I wouldn't choose you. Well, you're a douche. I don't know you. I don't like you. I don't want you. I don't want friends. I don't want company. And I particularly don't want you, whoever you are. If I come out of the shadows, you'll be very, very, very frightened. Oh, it's so terrifying. How is so fat living in this cave, though? That's the real question. I see you, man. You're just a man. I am an immortal spirit. I am. I am. I am. And that's a fact. I am the spirit of living in a cave and laughing at idiots like you. I'm above humanity. Miles above it. I prove that by living in a cave. Okay. I'm above your feeble morality. I don't like you. I don't need you. I don't. I really want to antagonize I'm lonely. him. I've never been lonely. I've got my thoughts and my memories. They're special. 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 Special! You'll not get them. You won't. Leave this me alone. This guy has lost his mind. Just go away. Oh, it's not going to let us lasso him. You really got it figured out, huh? I won't tell you again. Get out. I'll be back. So, I really want to figure out a way to to jump up there. Goodbye. Oh. <gasps> oh, that was interesting. I wonder. And then... Oh, was, we're so close. There might actually be a way up there. I wonder if we can get up this pillar? Hmm. Let's see if he's got something to say. I didn't wait three days today. This time I waited two Please, days. Not another step. You're not wanted here. And he's here. And grumpier than last time. Go back now. Please. I just want to say hi to you. Go. 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 I wonder if at the very end if Imagine I can shoot him off. Or ever. dynamite him off. Well, that's what this cave is like. Now go away. Please turn around and head up to the fresh air and to the happy Americans up in the world. <laughs> I've seen America. I'm happier in this cave. There's something in this cave. Other than him, obviously. Hello, sir. Nothing. Nothing makes me long for the time of kings more than this. The age of the common man. The age of democracy. The age of idiots. We have put the idiots in charge, and we wonder why the world has turned stupid. <laughs> Are we dumber than them? Are we really? Could we possibly be this stupid? Don't answer that. It's a rhetorical question. I imagine even that's lost on you. Interesting. Are you gonna talk more? Hey there, oh. Barn. 
I don't want you Should have antagonized him. do I have to tell you? Get back here. Oh, I'm going to get you. So he sits in that little corner over there. Goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. I'm going to get up there. I've been trying to like Assassin's Creed my way up to it, but it's just, it's going to happen. I just need to get super duper lucky, I think. I've been driving myself batshit crazy trying to find the way up to that dude. There's so much places to walk up there, but I just can't get up. Let's see if he's got another conversation. The oh, there we go. Out of my cave. Come on, big boy. Show your face. Go away, go away, go away. Just saw it off, will oh, you? Oh, hell no. I'm too intelligent for you. Go away. So close. Will you stop annoying me? I've got my bloody thoughts. I'm a genius. Ah. <gasps> oh, that was interesting. I don't want presents. I offered her presents. She didn't want them either. I'm not lonely. I'm a philosopher. Philosophers live in caves. Do they really? I don't think they do. Well, the good ones do. The bad ones. The ones people understand. They live in universities. Real intelligent men. We have to live in caves. We do. Oh, that's dynamite. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that could have ended terribly. Now bugger off. I will not bugger off. You're starting to annoy me. Look forward to never seeing you again. Oh, you're going to see me again. Get your ass back here. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to pimp slap you. Just you wait. You hide in your little dark corner. Holy shit. I made it up. Oh, I did it. It's a Christmas miracle. I'm going to see if I can replicate actually getting up here. But there's this little rock below the little hole here. And if you climb on top of that rock and sprint jump, your Arthur will at some point glitch his way across and you'll be able to get yourself in the little hermit's area. I'm so excited. So we've got some carvings or some paintings up here that we didn't really see before. Now, obviously, we need to try and find the hermit himself. I knew if I just kept trying hard enough, I would freaking get up here. So we got some notes up here. I wonder if we can actually like squat and read them if there's anything actually on them. We can't pick it up. I can't read that crap. Is there anything up here that we can have? Oh, what's that? There's like a little fire over there. So this is where he hides. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's just chilling here. But he's like broken. Huh. Oh. This is a weird... It's just like a glowing... F <laughs> I'm not going to step on it. I'll probably catch on fire. Is there anything to loot? How does he live up here? Oh, there's some more rock, rock paintings. Cave paintings? Kind of more of the same... Let's see if we can bring out our, our lantern here. Freaking knew I could get up here. Oh, I'm so happy. There better be something up here. I spent way more time trying to find a secret entrance. Because I knew there, there was something to do. Because they made all this room to walk. They shouldn't have made all this places to go if there's nothing in here, right? A little hole here. Are there any secrets? Any more rock carvings? What's up this little tunnel? Right, so to the left goes back and doesn't look like there's any rock carvings there. We'll just look for some secrets. All right. So this is the spot where I've been trying to jump across. So there's that little ledge there. 
to try and jump up. And there's another little tunnel across the way. And if I open up my map, I don't know where that goes. You know what? I think that I think we can get there from the other side, from the back. If we jump across, we're going to fall down. I just want to say... I don't know if this guy is the devil or not. But it definitely seems like he is not with this world anymore. Unfortunately, I've not found any secrets. Although, I didn't actually check the other direction. Let me get my... I was taking, taking screenshots. And I didn't see any other ways to go. We split off that way last time. If we go around here, it just goes right back to where that dead end is. So, it does not seem like there's actually any secrets up here, which is incredibly disappointing. But I did spend an absolute assload amount of time trying to get up here. So we do need to kill him, but I figured I would try and show how I got up here. There's this little rock right here, and I climbed up on top of this, and then sprint run toward this. Now, it's going to take a few tries. I don't know how many times I tried. I think I tried like six or seven times, but let's see if we can do it on camera without me giving up. Just run. Nah, that didn't work. But anyways, you just keep trying this. Sprint, jump, run, jump. Smash buttons, rage, scream, and eventually you'll get your ass up there. Oh, this is frustrating. We did it! Woo! So that's how you do it. You just gotta get the perfect jump off of that rock to get up here. Now, I did just save the game. There's one more interaction we have with this guy before the end of the game, or before it's over. He's actually not even lassoable. I said, stop that. Oh, he's beast. talking to me finally. This is why I live this alone. is why I live alone. You got anything else to say? Damn it all! Talk to me, baby. What about if we aim a gun at him? Hey, stop that! Hey, stop! Damn it all! <laughs> Christ! Damn it all! Just how stupid are you? Don't call me stupid. I'll shoot you in the balls. Just when I think there are no more morons in the world, another one comes along. You beast! Damn it all! <laughs> Christ! Hey, stop yes, I that! I think he's just going to keep repeating that. What happens if I shoot Christ. him in the foot? Oh! Or kick him in the face. Oh my god, can I loot him? <gasps> Oh, we could kidnap him. Oh, we just lost a shitload of honor. Cocaine gum. <gasps> oh, he's alive. <laughs> Can I drop him off the edge without killing him? Oh, baby, this could be fun. You know what I just realized? There's no way to get him up the ladder on the other side. So if we're going to kidnap him, we need to... I think we need to drop him down the little hole that's through here. That's the only thing I can think of, so... We can do it on the ledge where he's gonna get... Where we have to jump across. But maybe we can get him out through the little hole that's over here. Oh, we're gonna find out. So there's just this tiny little hole here. And we have to get it perfectly on that ledge. And he, he needs to not die. So close. Very, very close. Right, let's pick him up. It's very dark. I know. I guess we could try and just walk off the edge with him. I hope he doesn't just fall. Uh, boop. <laughs> yes! The cave hermit is mine! Now can I get out of here with him? Oh, I'm so happy! I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we're going to do something. I swear to God, if this bridge like breaks or the whole watch the whole game just break. Like he's still alive, too, which is the best part. I wonder if he'll wake up after getting like pimp slapped like that. So he's definitely not a vampire. We're able to get him out of there. He's not burning in the sun. We get to get a really nice up close and look at him in the sun, though. That's that's super exciting. I was so determined to kidnap this man. We finally succeeded. Hey, where what are you doing? 
Stow the stow the hermit. We're gonna take him to jail. I watch us get like a we get a lot of really bad honor for knocking him out, but it's okay. And we still have another conversation to have with him as well. But I want to see what happens if we take him to jail. I just wanted to make sure he was still alive, and he is absolutely 100% still alive because we get the red marker still on his body. I don't know if, Larry, if he's ever going to wake up, though. Probably highly unlikely. Uh oh, what somebody wants. Saw? Somebody has got some it. beef. Out of here. Trying to steal my cave, Hermit. How dare you? Get shot. Oh, oh, where's this other dude at? Oh, hell no. I'm losing all sorts of honor today. So, judging by then, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to turn him in. Mainly due to the fact that if we're getting reported for kidnapping, it's not going to let us turn him into jail. We're, we're going to try anyways. We're taking him to the lovely town of Deathberry. Uh, I have a feeling this isn't going to go well for us, but we're going to... We're going to try it anyways. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The sheriff's office is really close here. We're not going to pass a lot of crazy people, so I think this is going to be the best place to try and turn him in. He's still alive. We've already looted him, so I don't have to worry about abandoning him here. If I have to, I'll murder everybody in Deathberry. Because that's what we do <laughs> around here, around these parts. I wish we could hang people. That's just not a thing. We've got the sheriff's office. Let's see what happens here. Oh, son of a... Son of a... Well, that's something new. Hey. You ain't gotta tell me. What's going on, Sheriff? Whoa, oh, hey, 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 hey! Oh. Ah. You prick! I was trying to bring you a prisoner. Why are you guys gonna be such douche canoes? Oh, there's a whole bunch of people in here. You know what he's done? Now end him. Well, crap. We got ourselves a cave hermit. Now what do we do with them? Oh, you, you want some coppers? Come on. Shoot you in the balls if I have to. Don't make me shoot you in the brown star. Whoops. There goes your hat. Oh, right in the gut. That sucks. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have a big bounty for this gonna take my cave hermit and oh that's a perfect screen grab right there i'm just gonna take my hermit and leave now i don't want to completely turn this into death Barry again unfortunately it does seem that we can't really do anything with the cave hermit and i already looted him but i want to see what happens if we uh kill him if we get anything different horse come back baby come back you can blame it all on the hermit you didn't even make any noise. That was just savage. You can get uncut on fire now. You definitely look like the devil now. Right, so there's officially nothing on his person after he's dead either. We have one more interaction with the cave hermit. And I'm curious to see if he leaves anything after this final interaction or if this is all Go there is away. to him. Come on, buddy. Go away now? Come on, go away. Come on out of your hole there, big boy. You're Don't. a moron. Don't make me kidnap you again. Only a moron would want to go out there when they can live in here. There he is. What you doing today there, fine sir? My philosophy is that man doesn't know anything at all. And all knowledge is an illusion, and life is an illusion, and words have no true meaning, and all language is a lie. It was too brilliant for Boston. I tried Oxford. Land of goddamn morons. They didn't understand me. She didn't understand me. I'm hmm. happy here. But he was in the I'd world. rather eat bear shit than speak with human beings. Well then, that escalated quickly. Hey, mister. How are you? Soon to be dead, I hope. Whoa! 
Whoa! Whoa! Right, so he is going back to sit down. Let's see if we can get back up there again. And we're up. I'm getting a lot better at that now. Let's see here. So there still isn't anything. Holy shit, Biscuits. He's gone. Oh, no. What the hell is he doing? It's like afraid of something. What the hell? Is he afraid of me this time? Maybe he does have something else on him. Oh yeah, he's he's actually reacting to me this time. Interesting. What happens if we draw on him? Right, nothing. Okay. You beast! Such stupidity. Such stupidity you have. Just how stupid are you? I have never met a more idiotic man. Huh, okay. It's strange that he's actually reacting to us this time, though. Beast. Suppose it's time to murder him again to see what we get. If anything changes after having talked to him five times. Cocaine gum. So that's it. Interesting. I wish I could read whatever's on the ground. How is he even living up here? Pretty crazy. But anyways, I, I've not been able to find any other secrets. So now that you guys know how to get up here, if you're able to find something that I was not able to find, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. And if you want to see more crazy things like this, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I cannot wait for Red Dead Redemption 2 online because I'm sure there's going to be plenty more secrets to be had. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.